Okay, and um, we are through with conversion from a number in one base to another number in base 10. That means the number will be in different base, you change it to base 10. But now we are now doing a number that is already that is in base 10 already. We are now doing the one that the number is in base 10 already. We are trying to change to other base, which is true. Now, anytime the base is in 10 already, changing to other base, you use your uh, SM format, this format, where this one will be 2, 3, base 10. Then here will be your remainder. I will represent remainder. Then I will write 2 here because I'm changing to base 2. Now, how many 2 can you see in 23? So that will be 2 into 1, 2 into 3, 1. That will be remainder 1. That means 2 in 23 is 11, remainder 1. 2 again, 2 in 11, that is 5, remainder 1. Because 2 times 5 is 10. 2 again in 5, 2, remainder 1. 2 again, 2 in 2, 1, remainder 0. It will not remain anything. Now, 2 again. So anytime the number here is now less than the number here, so that means you can't say 2 in 1, then you now say 1, you now write this 1, because this 2 is now bigger than this, so we just write 1 as remainder, then you number from bottom to the top, see the way I write the arrow, from bottom to the top, that is 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, that means my answer now is 2, 3, base 10 equals 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, base 2. Answer. Now, let's see another one. Let's see another one. Convert 2, 3, base 10. To base 8. To base 8. Another word for 8 is octa. Meaning, you can say to octa. Octa means base 8. So now, to do this is already in base 10. So now change it to base 8. So use this. So that means you have 2, 3. And you have eight. Then this one will be remainder. So how many eights can you see in twenty-three? Eight times two is sixteen. That means it will go two times. So remainder. So sixteen plus seven. That means remainder seven. Again, how many eights can you see in twenty-three? It will be two, because eight times two is sixteen. Twenty-three minus sixteen. So that will be. 7 so 8 again we will be using 8 throughout since we are changing to base 8 but now do you notice this number is now less than this so far it's less than you can't say 8 in 2 so it's less than so that means this will be 0 then you write 2 so that means the 2 will now be the remainder so now number from bottom to the top so 2 3 base 10 equals 2 7 base it's mm -hmm. so let's see another question convert convert one to base ten to base nine so still do the same thing so I'll write 1, 2, base 10, then 9, yeah, then remainder, yeah. How many 9 can I say in 12? 1, remainder 3, then 9 again. So far this number is less, so that means it will be 0 and 1. So that means 1, 2, base 10 equals 1, 3, base 9. So always write from bottom to the top. So base 9. So that means we are true with this also. 
So that is how you convert from a number in base 10 to other base. The first one is one base to base 10. This one is now base 10 already to other base.